Apparently, we can actually do Tortoise TTS inference in mere seconds or less than a second, according to one of the contributors for the main Tortoise TTS repository. So I'm going to take a look at that right now and see if that is the case. Alrighty, so here we go. I believe the one who left the comment was this guy right here, Man Mai, and um, there is a new module in here called Fast API that allows you to inference relatively fast and then scroll to about five days ago i can see that this add fast api for tortoise has been added into here and um well let's just go ahead and see what was changed in here so here's the api fast do a side by side and i already did a quick browse through it and i believe what was changed is he took out the diffusion model inside of um tortoise he just completely took out the diffusion part of the process if we go to this area right here on the right side you see the um, original tortoise ETS you've got a self diffusion you've got initialization for a diffusion model but inside of the um, fast one you don't have any of that and I believe something else um, something else called Hi-Fi GAN is being used for the um, model, the Hi-Fi decoder. So I'm going to go ahead and update my Tortoise repo and try this fast API out. Since I already have Tortoise TTS right here, um, well, all I have to do is a git pull to it and I should be able to get it going. So if I open a PowerShell window here, um, and then do a git pull. It should update to the latest version. Your local changes to the following files. Uh, so I do have some local changes. I don't really need them. So I'm going to go ahead and stash them and then do another git pull. So, alrighty. Um, we have gotten the API fast in here. So I can now close out of this window and open this up in code. So here we are. Here is Tortoise TTS. Well, let's go ahead and take a look to see if there is a way or where the documentation is for how to actually use it. Okay, so here it is right here. We can use it uh, programmatically. Um, and we are going to copy this here. Oh, and actually, I, I already have a test script that I wrote up a little bit earlier so I'm just gonna use that instead so since it was called um, API fast that is what I'm gonna change it to um, let's see API underscore fast let's see if that pulls anything um, it looks like not so let me try to right, let me activate my VNV real quick and then pip install this repository see if we can rebuild it with that um, fast API and then I'll go ahead and reset the language server so it is still showing that it's not available oh let me see <laughs> it's because I didn't I don't have it here okay alrighty um there we go so now that we got API fast text-to-speech well first let's do it with the regular one and so let me um, copy this and paste We'll do it first with the regular API to see how fast that is. And I have deep speed enabled and the KV cache and half as well to make it as fast as possible. Um, but let's go ahead, run this real quick and see what the time for generation is for this. Well, it looks like it's <laughs> it's forced downloading an autoregressive PTH file. Um, and I was taking a look at it. I was like, well, I already have all the uh, the models in here. It looks like it's uh, forcing it to Monmai's Tortoise TTS um, hugging face directory. So um, I'm going to go ahead and modify that. I yeah, I, I already have one um, for it. So um, models dir and then it would be auto regressive that pth that should be it um, and it should give me the um should give me the correct paths so let me uh, go ahead and stop this because it's re-downloading all of them into this right here so let me delete that don't need that i also don't need this and actually this would be um this would be incorrect i would need to do model name here and then there should be some logic in here that um downloads add the logic to download models if not available 
Um, there should be some logic here to download models if they're not available, but I'll add that later since I already have them here. I just want to test the inference speed. Alrighty, so this should do text-to-speech um, with the regular API, not the fast one. And I have a timer for before and after, so it should tell me um, you know, how long it took in elapsed seconds for the audio. Um, I probably should have commented these out so it doesn't read it. Um, and let me rerun it so that it doesn't read it out. Okay, so this took 13 seconds to generate um, this long bit of text here. And that length of the file, the length of that file was... Well, let me go ahead and save it first. Um, the length of the file for that is... 15 seconds. So for 15 seconds of audio, it took 13 seconds to generate. And so I just have it in a while loop. So it's just going to keep looping and doing generations. Um, that's just for testing purposes. And now let me go ahead and try it with API fast. Okay. So I do need this hi-fi decoder.pth. So now, now I need to, I guess, grab, now I need to grab models. Um, so I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I believe this logic already existed before. I'm just going to head to a, a previous a previous version of the repository. Okay, so I believe I can um, take this part from the old existing code, slap it into here, if not download path. Um, and then I need, it looks like this download models um, got removed. Let me just copy this old code put it inside of here and then uh, see if this will um, resolve that so let's rerun that and see if it starts downloading the hi-fi decoder for this um, ultra fast API all right so it looks like it is and uh, we'll be back when that's finished already and um, it looks like we got it downloaded but ended up getting this thing here um, zero seconds uh, so nothing got generated I assume all right so let me figure out what's going wrong with the um, code for the fast generation and I'll be back when that is done if you're curious on what I do if something isn't working well um, I end up stepping through the code and I check out where the error is happening so um, I'll just give some quick insight onto what I do with that so it's gonna stop here and I can now track it through the um, the code and see what ends up happening here so okay so doing some um, digging and searching around it looks like for uh, text generation uh, Manmai is using dot TTS and is not using um, TTS with preset so I'm also downloading his models. Maybe there's something special in there. I just copied over that text file. So while that Python script is running, um, I'm going to change this to um, TTS. And this is going to be the second Python file that I have. So I'm going to start debugging to see if um, this gets me any closer to getting a generation done. And um, see how that goes. So let's step through it. Okay, PI fast, text to speech. That is done there. Let me remove that breakpoint. Step through. Okay, cool. So it looks like um, we do have it here. Um, the following keywords preset. So yeah, I changed it to TTS, um, but I need to remove this this here it looks like he's using uh some voice samples text use deterministic seed and then the parameters that he is using um oh i know why <laughs> there's no presets in here because um you remove the diffusion model so you don't need the samples and iterations so um you don't need that for you know this model okay that makes a little bit more sense so let's rerun this and Okay, so four and a half seconds. Alrighty, um, cool. So let's uh, uh uncomment this. All right, so four and a half seconds. That is pretty dang quick. Can't convert CUDA zero type tensor to NumPy. Alrighty, so um, 
I'll have to check out my the way that I'm saving it. It's probably a little bit different now. Hydrogen, generate audio. Already, um, I had to add this line right here um, before I could save it. And now we, it looks like we can uh, start doing some generations already. So that was um, about an hour's bit of a journey. So let's run and see what we got here in terms of speed. So I'm going to generate an audio first and then I'm going to regenerate to s check out how long it takes for the second generation because sometimes the second generation is a little bit quicker. All right, so we got 4.2 seconds um, and then three seconds. Well, that's pretty nice. All right. So it looks like we are generating the audio samples decently fast. So let's save the next generation and take a listen to it so it's going to generate or it's going to be output to my output folder here as generated audio so 17 seconds of audio took three seconds to generate and let's take a listen real quick by setting protected namespaces to an empty tuple you're essentially telling pydantic to not protect any namespaces this is a workaround and might not be the best solution in every scenario okay dang so that is pretty good um and that is the the fast api let's bring it back to the regular api okay so that is 14 seconds on the initial generation um this is using the ultra fast preset so by default that is um i believe 16 samples and 32 iteration and another 13 seconds okay so 12 seconds now let's save that audio file and here it is so 12 seconds for 20 seconds of audio let's listen to the tortoise let's listen to how the output sounds with the diffusion model by setting protected meme spaces to an empty tuple you're essentially telling Tidante to not protect any name spaces this is a workaround and might not be the best solution in every scenario you should make sure you understand the implications of this action. Okay, so that is standard tortoise. Wow, that is crazy. So um, by taking out that diffusion model, you're actually speeding up um, the Texas speech by like many, many times. So let's just try that again to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Uh, let me delete this. Wow, that's lightning quick. Um, three seconds for the generation okay let's save the audio file and let's take another listen by setting protected namespaces to an empty tuple you're essentially telling pydantic to not protect any namespaces this is a workaround and might not be the best solution in every scenario you should make sure you understand the implications of this action okay so just Based on my hearing, the quality doesn't sound any worse than Tortoise TTS. I would need to do a lot more testing on that. But um, if we're able to run this through RVC, of course, we're going to increase the um, uh, fidelity of the audio and make it sound much better. And with this, we should be able to speed things up by a lot if this is the case. So that's exciting. I'm going to explore this a little bit more, um, clean up some of the, the code and some of the test scripts and see if I can start incorporating this into some of my um, text to speech stuff. But yeah, that is pretty awesome. It looks like on top of the deep speed, now there's a workflow that's even faster. You got like 3x, 4x for Tortoise TTS. So we are way beyond real time. This is going to help out on other GPUs that aren't 4090s, and this will be pretty awesome. So I'm going to take a look more into it. But yeah, thank you for watching the channel today, everybody. If you liked the video, found it informative, please consider liking, subscribing, all that cool stuff, memberships if you want to support the channel. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all later.